Everyone always talks about work on your weakness, fix this, fix that. What if it has nothing to do with that? What if actually working on your strengths is a way to get much farther ahead in the results that you want in life? My name is Elon Ferdman. I'm a speaker, mentor, and coach, and I run a company called Satori Prime. And today, I want to talk about reframing and reprogramming your strengths, not your weaknesses. What do I mean by that? So I play a lot of tennis. And many coaches that I work with always look to work with you on your weaker shot. Now, for most people, that's their backhand, right? So I, I go and I hire this one coach. And he comes and he says, well, instead of working on your weaker shot, why don't we give you more options with the strength that you already have with your forehand? And that got me thinking. There's so many things that we do because we've mimicked others. Parenting is a great example. I have two kids, seven-year-old and a five-year-old. And most of the time, the way we teach our kids is the same way that we were taught. Even if that's not necessarily the best way to do that, it's just the way that we know, it's just the way that we're comfortable producing a certain result. Let me give you an example. Everyone's learned, most people I should say, have learned how to ride a bike. Now how did you learn? Most likely your mom or dad ran behind you holding the seat and eventually let you go. Now I was about to teach my son and I thought to myself, you know, YouTube is a great access to actually learn new and effective ways. So I watched a three and a half minute video about how to train my son to ride a bike. And it was very different than running behind them like this. And I'm not gonna get into the details, but the long and the short is, in one hour, a three and a half year old was riding without training wheels on my street. Now, whether you're looking for a breakthrough in your health or your finances, or your love life, there are things that you do really well that produce you certain results. And we don't generally look at those strengths because they do produce results. Now here's the thing that you wanna maybe question. Just because you're producing results, does that necessarily mean that that is the best, most efficient, effortless, easy way to be producing results, or maybe even greater results? See, a lot of the time, we focus all our energy on fixing or removing our weaknesses. What if you actually looked at the things that you're already good at, the things that are producing results, and you brought those to question? And you started to ask, while I'm producing results this way, is this necessarily the best way? Because the things that you're good at to make a shift to get even better or more effective or better results, that shift is much smaller than always looking at your weaknesses. Aw, that video's over. But if you liked it, hit the like button. And if you loved it, definitely subscribe because we release a video like this every single week. So don't be sad, hit the subscribe button.